Hi everyone, today we are going to be talking about chapter 15, Static Electricity. So, let's do a short recap on the atomic structure. So, an atom is made out of three different kinds of things. Neutrons, protons, and electrons. The neutrons and the protons should be stuck in the center, which forms the nucleus. The electrons should be orbiting the nucleus. The protons are positive charges, and the electrons are negative charges. In an uncharged or electrically neutral atom, the number of protons should equal the number of electrons. Now, let's talk about the basic properties of charges. Like charges will repel. For example, if these two charges were both positive, they would have a force pushing them away from each other. Likewise, if they were both negative, they would also have a force pushing away from each other. If the charges are not alike, they would instead attract. For example, if one of them was positive and one of them was negative, they would have a force pushing them closer together, having an attraction. So now let's talk about the properties of charges. The SI unit for the electric charge is called a coulomb, and the symbol for the SI unit is C. For example, one single electron has a negative charge of 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 C. So what is the number of electrons needed to carry one coulomb of charge? It would be 1 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 is equals to 6.25 times 10 to the power of 18. This number of electrons is required to carry one coulomb of charge. So let's recap. Conductors are materials that allow electrons to move freely within it. Some examples are all metals and graphite. Insulators are materials that do not allow electrons to move freely about in it. Some examples are rubber, plastic, and wood.